Right, and moving on to other stories, United States and China may not agree on a lot of issues. Uh, might the two nations have found a common ground when it comes to pandas? Well, U.S. First Lady Jill Biden has signaled that the two countries are engaging in panda diplomacy. We've heard that before as well. What is panda diplomacy? Well, pandas are used as a sign of goodwill. The World Wildlife Fund for Nature Organization also uses pandas in, its, in their logo. This species is often used in diplomatic events and to foster positive relationships between countries. So China has taken a step in this very direction. Earlier, Beijing's foreign ministry announced that it will send two giant pandas, Yuan Chuan and Xin Bao, to the San Diego Zoo. This particular zoo has a long-standing partnership with China on wildlife conservation research. China has been lending the bears to American zoos for more than five decades as a friendly gesture between the two countries. However, when the United States started returning most of its pandas to China, many were worried that panda diplomacy might be ending. Pandas live mainly in temperate in temperate forests high in the mountains of southwest China. Pandas are very shy by nature and they don't venture into areas where people live. Now, this restricts pandas to very limited areas. They're not found all over the world. They survive almost entirely on bamboo to stay healthy and these animals have to eat a lot, up to 15% of their body weight in 12 hours. Only about 1,500 of these black and white bears survive in the wild.